Hello and welcome to Coffee Lovers TV. I'm your host, Joseph, and today we're going to be enjoying this uh, very nice Ethiopia by Clatch Coffee Roasters. Clatch Coffee Roasters, they've been around for quite some time, since 1993, so about 24 years. Um, and uh, they're very well known in the industry. They've won quite a lot of awards. Uh, they, of course, follow the direct trade model, and they... Um, source really high quality coffee. So this uh, FTO Ethiopia Gedeb uh, is their uh, coffee that most recently won the Good Foods Award uh, or Good Food Awards. They are located down in Southern California. Uh, I ran into them at the CoffeeCon LA show uh, this past February and they tossed me their very last bag of this Ethiopia to enjoy. Uh, and so I'm going to share it with you today. Uh, it looks like you can actually still get this coffee on their website, so I'll be linking that below. Um, it's really nice Ethiopia, and uh, we're just gonna we're gonna enjoy it. I'm going to have a smell, and then they have a nice little uh, description on here, and I'm just gonna read out some of the what's on the label since it might be a little hard for you to read, but uh, let's have a smell first. Smelling the uh, smelling the whole bean is sometimes a little complicated since it's been sitting in a bag. Maybe I should be pouring this out first, or I could smell the grounds, or both. So very rich and sweet. That's just the dominating uh, reaction to, uh, that I have. Yeah, it's just got a good light uh, fruit sweetness. Um, that's really nice. It doesn't come off as, as uh, too terribly complex. Uh, so it's probably just going to be something that's, that's just easy to enjoy. So very nice. Um, so let me give the, read out this description here. So first off, Gedeb is a district in the Judeo area of Ethiopia. Um, which is where a lot of uh, Ethiopian coffees come from. It's heirloom varietal, which uh, most uh, Ethiopian coffees are considered heirloom because, I'm just taking a little sidestep here, in the production of coffee, a lot of uh, coffees in areas like Ethiopia, well, it, really in many places around the world, they're grown in, in small lots, uh, like really small lots, just a bunch of small farmers, hundreds, um, hundreds of small farmers who grow just a little bits of coffee and then they bring that all to a mill. So um, the farm on here is listed as that mill, Kokana Mill, um, which means that they take from many, many farmers in the area and they just combine uh, everything. And then it's sorted from there. So it's a combination of unknown varieties. Um, uh, heirloom is really popular in Ethiopia just because uh, there's, it's said that Ethiopia has uh, 10,000 plus varieties of coffee versus the rest of the world, which has just a few and um, mutations of those few. Uh, that's a whole nother story, uh, which I'll actually have a pretty good video coming out soon on that. Uh, but the point is that this, uh, this coffee is, I mean, we don't know exactly know what the varietals are. It's just um, a bunch of really good coffee from the Gedeb district of the Judeo region. Um, and it's uh, they call this roast a medium light. Um, I mean, it's it seems kind of like uh, J uh, Jesse Akondua Coffee does does a what he calls a well developed light roast, um, which maybe they do something similar. I don't know enough about roasting coffee myself to say where this lands on the spectrum, and I also don't know what what temperature they brought the coffee to. So um, call it a medium light roast. And uh, let's get with this description here. So this, this whole thing, long description. It starts with a floral aroma. The cup brings out complex fruit flavors, sweet herbal lemon acidity, and a marzipan body along with a sweet and savory finish. Uh, I guess I need to eat some marzipan because I don't have a vision of what that is. Um, but I'm imagining some kind of uh, thick, richly sweet body. Not necessarily thick, but um, it's, I, I, I guess I'm ex expecting this to not really be like tea, uh, which um, a lot of Ethiopians are. But we'll see, we'll see how it ends up. Of course, we're brewing on the Kalita, 
so we're going to get a little bit more body out. Um, I have had this on the Chemex, although I didn't make notes. Uh, I just recall it being a pretty solid Ethiopian. Um, so we're just going to enjoy it on the Chemex and go with those thoughts and remarks. Um, all right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and brew this, and then we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, I took a nice uh, smell of the grounds, of course, and um, I, I, my reaction to it, to the, to the ground coffee, was very much like smelling a lot of ripe berries. Uh, so uh, very sweet, fruity, um, but of that like super ripe, um, almost dipping into overripe ness of fruit. And the, um, the brood aroma, I agree with the uh, floral uh, assessment, kind of like that, uh, that temple geisha. It just has this like nice delicate flower smell to it. I think of like a, like a small white flower. Not one in particular, just that's what pops into my head. That's interesting, after pouring it, um, I get ripe. Uh, not ripe, but um, like n not quite ripe, but like green berry, like just picked off the vine. Mm. So uh, my initial reaction, um, I get some nice ripe uh, raspberry maybe, um, but I could also see lemon. It's pretty light and delicate. It actually has a lot of like um, sweet citrusiness to it, uh, but I get some berry in there as well. It's possible I'm getting the berry because I want it to be there, or maybe I think it should be there. I think it's easy to taste something and find what you're looking for, even if it's not there. It's difficult to approach these with a completely open mind. I do have uh, preconceptions of Ethiopian coffees, being that a lot of them have been fruity. Mm, hold on. Yeah, when I kind of sip it a bit, I get... Um, it's a lot like this raspberry tea that I had recently, actually. A lot like the raspberry tea. Like if there wasn't this other sort of lemony element going on, I would say it's um, like raspberry tea. Uh, it definitely has a tea-like quality to it. Um, not as much body as I was kind of expecting. It's quite light. So I don't know what to make of the marzipan. Maybe that's marzipan. Um, so yeah, they, they say, again, that was complex fruit flavors, sweet herbal, lemon acidity. So I do get the lemon on there. Sweet herb, sweet herb. When I think sweet herb, I think like sweet basil. Um, I don't really get that on here. I think it's, uh, I'm not sure, maybe there's herbalness to it. Again, I'm going to find it now that I'm looking for it. There is, there is this sweetness to it. And maybe that's what they're trying to describe, is that the sweetness is like an herb sweetness. So like the sweetness of a sweet basil is kind of what you're running into here. Uh, and then there is kind of that lemon acidity, that lemon high edge to it. And then there's also this, this berry going through it. It's a lot like my raspberry tea that I had. It's a good coffee. It's good light coffee. Um, you know, honestly, I probably wouldn't want... Um, I, I mean, I guess I go through phases on this of the kind of coffee that I like in the morning. Uh, I've said before that, that the perfect coffee for me has like a lot of these elements, but also has a rich uh, body to it, um, like rich chocolatiness along with stuff like this, along with like berry fruitiness and that sort of thing. Um, and that's, that can be difficult to, that can be difficult to find. Um, this is the kind of coffee I'd like, uh, maybe my second cup of coffee in the day mid-morning, early afternoon, that sort of thing. But if you like a really light coffee, this is a good one. Uh, but again, not too, uh, not too crazy, not too complex. It's just a good Ethiopian coffee, um, a really good example of, of what uh, Ethiopia can, can bring that's not uh, blueberries. <laughs> I think that um, maybe when a lot of people think of Ethiopian coffees, the popular uh, sort of Yirgacheff um, like shoving your face into a bowl of blueberries is, is, uh, is what maybe many people envision. Uh, but this is a really good example of something else. So I'll link, uh, I'll actually link to this coffee below because it's on their site. If for some reason it's not by the time I get this up, then I'll just link to Clatch's uh, other coffees and you can have a, have a look.
Thank you for watching. Please do uh, subscribe, hit that like button, uh, let me know what you think, and grab some of Clatch's coffee. I'll have those links below, and uh, have a great day.